Hi everyone, hello and welcome to Happy Monday Dollar Tree Haul. I am here, we are back together and I am always so happy, thankful and blessed to be here with every single one of you. I hope you all have had an amazing couple of days since I saw you last on Happy Saturday Dollar Tree Haul. I have some amazing things to show you today. I actually went to Connecticut today. My husband and I drove out to meet Margo from Margo's Hauls and All out in Connecticut to meet her sister and her son DJ and we spent the day together. I am so excited to have been able to spend time with them, meet them in person from our connection here on YouTube, our friendship and now in person was just like being with family and I am so grateful for all of the love and effort that those three wonderful people put into today for my husband and I. We did go to Dollar Trees. We went to three different Connecticut Dollar Trees. Some of those items will be in this haul. They'll be sprinkled into Happy Wednesday Dollar Tree haul. And I will share with you a little bit of story time at the end of this haul if you want to stick around and hear how our day went when we met up and spent the day together. So let's just start out with some of the food things that I got to pick up today. Now Richie found these zero sugar drinks called Accelerator. He tried it and he said it was really, really, really good. This is a plant-based and natural caffeine. That's pretty phenomenal. Sh uh, zero sugar, artificial flavors, artificial color and chemical preservatives. There is zero of all of that. And this is orange mango. He really, really enjoyed this drink. I asked him to get a couple of them, but he said he just wanted to try one of each that he was interested in. This one he has not tried yet. This one is called Island Guava and it has the same the same things that I just read to you on the other can, zero sugar. So these are new and I love that for him because when we find zero sugar for $1.25 anything, we pick it up and he really, really likes this accelerator drink and that kind over there. I think this one was orange mango. I hope I forgot. Um, I hope I remembered to tell you that. So found those two things and I was really happy for him that he got to grab those. I found this and this is from Sonic and this is ocean water they're calling it. So I thought that that was really, really cool. And this is gelatin. So it makes some jello, six and a half cups of servings inside of this jello packet here. And it's naturally and artificially flavored. And um, I just wanted to try it out and I think that that would be really fun to make, you know, maybe if we're having a cookout and it's a beach theme, I can add some of this to the table with a little Cool Whip and have a little summer treat. And I think that the Sonic brand is kind of cool to give that a shot. So I picked it up. Then we found these Tootsie Rolls and Margo told me that she had picked these up and tried them and that they're really, really good. I've never seen vanilla flavored Tootsie Rolls. So that is really, really amazing. This is a big, big bag. So I thought I'm going to keep these for trick-or-treating just to keep in like a candy stash so that we can hand them out to trick-or-treaters because there is a lot of content inside of this bag. And I think that they're cool because they're a totally different thing other than the chocolate Tootsie Rolls. So I had to pick those up. And then these, I haven't seen these for a while at the Dollar Tree, but when they come in from time to time here and there and everywhere, I am very happy to find them. These are the Austin crackers and there's six packages in here for $1.25. We can get a box of six for about a little over $2 at the grocery store. These are good just to insert inside of the guys like lunch boxes, going to work for the day, just a quick little snack. And these are good for Richie because they have peanut butter inside of them. So there's six packages of the crackers of the Austin for that one. So really happy that they had these back. And then they had this one as well, which is also the Austin crackers, the six pack. And this is the cheddar cheese ones. And they're the good size packages that have six in each. Austin crackers, um, sandwich crackers like this are my favorite. So these are fun for me to nibble on. I love the peanut butter and jelly ones. And these were actually my grandpa's favorite as well. So these are the Austin brand, just like the other two. 
and their peanut butter and jelly. So $1.25 for a six pack on all three of those. That's fantastic. Now, my husband has been looking for his coffee for so long now. I've been trying to scout it out, can't find it anywhere. And this is the kind that we always pick up from the Dollar Tree, right here. These two packages are his absolute favorite to pick up at the Dollar Tree. This is the one that sometimes I try to describe to you that kind of looks like a Dunkin' Donuts knockoff. But he said these two different types of coffee at the Dollar Tree are his favorite of coffee that he can get for himself anywhere to put in his coffee pot. So that is the brand right there. And this is the Donut Shop Premium Coffee. And this has 4.5 ounces of coffee inside of these bags. So there is this one as well. And this one is the Sunrise Blend Light. So 4.5 ounces of coffee. I picked up the whole box that was left of these. I did ask anybody if they wanted them. We haven't been able to find these for some time. So we've been having to pick up other coffee for him. I actually got 10 packages all together. So he should be good for a while. And he was super duper thrilled to have found them. So we hit that. Then I pulled this little set of three things together because they just made my heart happy. I love the Disney princesses and I love this cup. So I thought it was really, really beautiful just to have on hand. When we go to Disney, you know, and have a vacation or whatever, I'll pack this cup in a little old suitcase just to bring along with me to have some beverage inside of in the hotel room when we're kind of just having dinner for the night. They're just one of these little party cups and and they're plastic so the the image on it is so vivid and cute of all the princesses so I grabbed that then I found the pencil pouch I have been looking for this because I've seen a couple of people haul it already and I wasn't able to find it but I really really did want to grab it there's my beautiful girl Ariel my mermaid my muse and there is the other oh my goodness why can't I remember her name from Ohana hmm no that isn't it either can't remember her name she's a newer princess i've seen the movie maybe three times and i'm drawing a blank this says sea beauty right there moana moana thank you so much thank you that it came back to me this is a cute little pencil pouch of the princesses has the zipper pocket right there but what i love is that this can go in a binder and you can put your pencils inside there your pens and then will you just look at this side it looks like all of the girls are just hanging out having a chat all of those beautiful disney princesses so i picked that up to go with the princess theme that i was trying to go for and then i grabbed up this placemat right here i loved it especially because it says be kind right there and there are those girls as I've said many times before, I do intend on having some type of a Disney themed room at some point. And I would love to put all of my memorabilia, my souvenirs, my memories from Disney trips that my family and I have gone on vacation to all together in one space and really decorate it nicely with all of my finds from Disney. So I picked that up, but it would be really cute just to use as a placemat too. If you're having a Disney night, putting out snacks and watching some Disney movies, lay that out, put some cute little bowls and plates on it with treats in it. So I grabbed it and it made my heart happy. So I did grab it. Now, speaking of snacks, I have to tell you, I was a little, you know, kind of just scouting around, researching some random things, Googling random things one evening because I couldn't sleep. And I can't remember what specifically I Googled, but this picture came up and they had these like fishing boxes. It was actually a fishing box. I'm substituting it for this because these are at the Dollar Tree. And then inside of a case that looks like this, they kind of made like a charcuterie set up inside of these little containers. They put like a row of crackers, olives, feta cheese, some, um, tomato slices, you know, just all kinds of really cool um, nuts in one of the little compartments. They just made 
<coughs> excuse me i'm so sorry i have a tickle um they just made like a whole charcuterie moment inside of these containers and they brought it to the beach with them i apologize i do have to cough <coughs> I might have to hold on just a moment and take a little sip of the sip <coughs> before the tickle gets a whole bunch worse. We're just going to wiggle, wiggle and get that tickle away. So I think it's gone now. I apologize for that brief interruption. So anyhow, they put a whole entire charcuterie moment inside of this box right here. And they brought it to the beach with them all sealed up and they had their whole entire little snack bin right inside of here how cute would that be for an adult to go with their snack you know pack the kids a little snack box full of like goldfish and all kinds of little things that they can put inside gummies whatever that they like to snack on and take those with you i found these in the tool bench aisle set up on like a little stack and i've seen these so many times before and i have some of them actually holding my jewelry my beads and things like that so that made me extra excited happy and thrilled because now i'm going to set myself up a cute little snack and go to the beach so there's that then i found this is out of category and now we're moving on to other things my husband found this puzzle right here there is only a hundred pieces in here he likes to put the puzzles together and put them inside an 11 by 14 size frame that usually comes from the dollar tree and then i hang them on the wall as his little crafting piece that he offers to the house to my craft room and look at those sweet little piggy friends leaning over the porch um I mean over the fence with the beautiful bed of flowers right here i love this and it's going to be really cute once he puts it together and shares that with me in a frame so definitely grab that up i love picking up i love picking up their puzzles then i thought that this find was really really awesome and amazing these were up by the register of almost cashing out it was like on the other side of where the cash register is across the aisle they have a bunch of stuff like you know like novelty type of items this was on one of the racks so this is waterproof water bottle stickers and as you see it comes in this plastic wrap right here but it does look like it's a little bit of a thick book and it's almost like a surprise opening for me i've been waiting i've been wanting to dig into this so bad no i'm gonna stop myself from using my teeth like i would normally like to do but i've been stopping myself from taking it out of the sleeve to look inside of it because i wanted to do it with you guys so let's see how many water bottle stickers come inside of here because the packaging doesn't specify love that and that says be happy right here we have this page oh my goodness there are so many stickers and these are so beautiful good vibes this is fantastic for a dollar 25 to get a really cute water bottle and decorate it all up that is amazing because you can't even pick up sticker packs with a bunch of you know oh that one's my favorite be kind with the peace sign and the heart in the middle and you got this that's cute you can't even find that on amazon so that is the whole booklet right there and the stickers in this book are permanent suitable for many smooth surfaces it says so it gives you some instructions on the back and that just made me extra happy because that is a lot of water bottle sticker stickers for me to slam on some cute little bottles and jog around and i don't jog let me not lie <laughs> no jogging around here um i will walk briskly with my water bottle and my stickers on it 
<laughs> and then I picked up these stickers. I love these. These are from Crafter Square. There are seven pieces inside of this and they say all of these beautiful little sayings on it. So I can use it for scrapbooking, making my cards, making also my intention cards. It says believe you can and you are halfway there. Follow your dreams, believe in yourself and don't give up. That's just some of the things that this says if you would like to screenshot it and read the rest. Here is this beautiful package of stickers. We also have this one right here that has seven pieces as well. And I love, I love, love, love these. This one says, I just want to thank you for being my reason to look forward to the next day. I love that. And it also says, love you always, grow old along with me. The best is yet to be. So that's just some of the things that are said throughout the sticker package. And I just had to add them to my stash because I go through stickers so fast. So, so fast when I get crafting. I found this right here. And these stickers, there's 96 pieces. And they're all the planets, the stars. I think that these are absolutely beautiful. So there are a couple of sleeves inside of this package of these particular ones, and I can use these to seal my cards that I like to send out to people. And, you know, I just think that that's a really cute seal on the back of an envelope when I'm mailing. So I love these very, very much. Picked those right up, absolutely did. And then I found this notebook right here for the cover. I had to. I absolutely had to. This is like one of those composition notebook types, but it's this beautiful cover on the front that I just needed to have. Adventure is out there. And look at the beautiful, beautiful sky with the clouds, the mountains, the greenery, the water, and the reflection in the water. I think that that is perfection and beauty. And it's just a pretty thing to look at. Then you can stay, you know, inside of this journal write it as a journal keep your list what have you whatever you like to do with all of your pads of paper because we know we like to collect the notebooks from the dollar tree most of us anyways and there are quite a few pages inside of this notebook so it's a nice big one there are 50 sheets so I needed to have that and I thought that that would be a nice notebook to bring with me when I'm walking through the woods and I'm going to like journal about my day in a quiet, peaceful spot, overlooking some beautiful water, some calm stillness, and that's a beautiful illustration on the front cover. So I picked it up. Now I found these beautiful, beautiful ink. I love that, now maybe it doesn't, does this say couture? Let me know. You know, this girl over here, has some pronunciation issues but I think that this says couture I'm hoping <laughs> um but this is the ink brand which is really really a great brand it says quick drying bright fluorescent ink chiseled tip and assorted ink and there's three highlighters in there and this is the color of the three highlighters I love, love, love these so much. So for back to school or for me checking off my to-do lists as they get done throughout the day, highlight them out of the ballpark so that I know that it's been said and done. I think that these are snazzy, jazzy, and pretty. And I love to have them in my stash. But for back to school kids, that would be a fantastic pickup. Now, I did find... I did find these beautiful, beautiful magnetic bookmarks here. There are six inside of this package, which I think is really amazing for $1.25 because they're magnetic to keep your pages. And look at the beautiful illustration on them plus the wording, and I'll read them to you just in a moment. So those are really pretty for $1.25. Separate it, give a book from the Dollar Tree and a bookmark you know you could do that for christmas for a cup six people and spend less than 250 by separating this package right here between six different people with a book from the dollar tree so it says my hope is in god all day long i know the truth protect the truth recognize your identity own your identity believe 
the gospel and preach it to yourself every day. Love is my anchor. I have loved you with the, uh, the everlasting love. We have hope and anchor firm and secure. Faith, hope, and love. That is what these beautiful, beautiful magnetic bookmarks say. So I picked up a few books because you know this girl absolutely loves, loves the book section. When I hit the road, and you know I had to have that because I am a traveling girl. I just love to travel and see as much as humanly possible. Spend days on road trip days, even if it's a day trip going to a different place to experience a new area and new things in a new area. I am all about it. Now, let me see. I just pulled off the sticker and I haven't found the original price yet. It's on the inside. It says the original price of this book is $16.99. And it says, maybe you're thinking, wow, I must have been a really brilliant 12-year-old to think of writing letters to my future self. But if you're thinking that you must have forgotten that, mom's the reason I'm writing these letters. But I'm not doing it for mom. I'm doing it for me and for you. So you're the only one who's going to get to read them. <laughs> and this book is about, you know, just adventures and writing it out in her adventures of each and every different place she goes and sharing all of her experiences. So this is a cute little book to read when you're feeling like you want to hit the road and maybe go try some new stuff and learn how to write about it. Send home letters to let them know how your trip is going, maybe to entice that. I think that that is really a cool concept of the book and I think it's going to be enjoyable to read. I also found this one which is called Vacation Land, which I love. True stories from painful beaches, large print it says although his career is best-selling author and on the daily show with john stewart was founded on fake news and invented facts in 2016 okay let let's just skip all that crazy business there was a reason why i picked up this book it sounds kind of silly vacation land collects these real life wanderings and through them you learn of the freshwater claims the evolutionary purpose of the mustache <laughs> okay well maybe this is gonna go in the donation pile <laughs> i don't know i don't know i think i think i found it and saw vacation land that looked like maine on it it had large print so i thought maybe my mom would like it but now that i'm reading it more in depth i don't know Hopefully, if you guys find it or look it up online, you can see if that would be like a nice read for you. But I'm questioning that purchase right now for a moment. <laughs> that was last week. And last week, maybe I wasn't paying that close attention. <laughs> um, and then we have this one right here called <laughs> Wildlife. And I thought this one was definitely cute. Dispatches um, from a childhood of baboons, a baboons and button downs. So... That is really, really cute. And it's about her life story being brought up in the wild. So praise for wildlife. And this book originally went for $28. $28 for this book right here. And I think that that is going to be a really adventurous, fun read. And she includes pictures inside of it. Look at the monkey is in the hammock. She must have lived a really fun, entertaining life for sure. And I bet it made her very adventurous in her adulthood too. So I cannot wait to read that right there. Now to get into some fantastic, most wonderful new fall finds. I know we're not ready for it, but like Wendy from the New Oxford, Pennsylvania says, when you go to her store, here today gone tomorrow if i don't pick this stuff up and haul it for you now by the time i do show it to you the stuff may not be in the store so we are gonna definitely skim through this and hopefully you will find some stuff that tickles your fancy and you might want to go out and find i found these 
little brooms here and I'm going to use them as car fresheners in my car. This is a eucalyptus scent right here and I love these. I love that it's a broom and I love that scent. This smells incredible even just in the packaging. So once I hang it up in my rear view mirror and take off the packaging, my car is going to smell amazing. So I picked up that. I should have kind of picked up a bunch of each, but I only picked up one of each for now. Hopefully I do find them again. This one is pumpkin spice and this is the cute little broom as well. Again, a really, really super strong scent. These were fun last year when they came out. They had the cinnamon ones and I picked up several of the cinnamon ones. This time I didn't find any of the cinnamon brooms, but the eucalyptus and the pumpkin spice I think is really fantastic. Now, I found these and I could not leave them there because I know that these things are going to be gone. This is one of the baking molds. It's the silicone one. You can literally, you can, you can just bake in here. You can kind of like melt crayons in here and make like, it's just endless. Look up silicon, silicone molds. Um, for crafting purposes and you will come up with so many cool things to try out in these really really beautiful silicone molds but look at how beautiful the pumpkins are there's four right there and I think that that is amazing they're nice and deep so they're gonna make a really cute pumpkin whether you make something for decorative purposes or or if you actually bake in these and make some cute cupcakes. So I had to pick that up. I absolutely had to. Then they had the tins. They had the tins that are pumpkin shaped. Yes. And they have this design right here, which is kind of like a taller pumpkin. And this one is more of a, like a squashed down regular round type of pumpkin. So there's three. Oh, I just smashed myself in the face. Listen, that is not unusual. If you have not been here with me for a while, I'm clumsy. I am a klutz. My name is Carolyn, and I will flub up a thousand things during my hauls. So welcome. Be relaxed here and just enjoy yourself. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen. Um, so I think that this is amazing. And there's six. So I picked up one of these and I loved it. Loved it so much. And these are going to make some really cute pumpkin cupcakes or brownies to frost during the Halloween months and the fall months. So I am so thoroughly excited to have brought you all of this stuff today. Happy, happy Monday Dollar Tree haul. I love you guys to the moon and the stars in the sky. You are all wonderful, amazing people. You make my heart happy. This is my happy place. And I absolutely love coming here to shop and hang out with all of my beautiful friends and family. Um, my friends that have become family to me through my journey here and I would have never had the opportunity to know and experience a relationship with you if I had not started this YouTube channel and I am so grateful for every bit of it. So thank you. If you are new here, hi, my name is Callan. I would love if you'd consider sticking around and staying. Um, please like, share, subscribe, comment down below, and hit the bell notification so that you are aware of every single time that I upload a new video. I do Dollar Tree hauls here on this channel on Saturdays, Mondays, and Wednesdays. And like I said, I absolutely love it and it makes me really happy to be here with all of you. So just in case you want to go, the haul is over for today and now I am going to share with you that do want to stick around and hear about it, about my day with Margot, Robin, and DJ. And so I love you guys, everybody that's on your way out. Please be happy, safe, love, blessed, kind to one another and amazing the next few days until I see you on Happy Wednesday Dollar Tree Haul and I love all of you so much. So now, today we woke up, it was a planned trip. Connecticut, uh, the way that we went into Connecticut this time, it only took me an hour and 15 minutes to get to Connecticut when it said welcome to Connecticut on the GPS. So I was really happy to just blow and breeze right into the state early in the morning. And then I met up with Margot like another 45-ish minutes later 
at the destination, the Dollar Tree that we picked out to meet at. So I met her and her beautiful, beautiful family, and we just had the most amazing day. We went to three different Dollar Trees in the area that we had met up in, and they were good Dollar Trees. The first one was definitely the best one. It had most of the items that I hauled for today. And we just had fun. We had a good time. We connected. It was super easy, just like it is every time I meet somebody, um, you know, that I've connected to through this journey here. So it was just like meeting up with people that I've known my whole life. They were absolutely wonderful to us. They took my husband and I out to lunch, insisted on paying for it, which I am really, really thankful and grateful. And, and just appreciative of everything that you did for us today her and her sister and her son brought me a beautiful beautiful gift that was just so touching and so nice that they thought to do that for me and they gave me some beautiful beautiful candles and body sprays and they got me the cotton candy one from Bath and Body Works that had the shower gel and the lotion to match all cotton candy because we know if we've been here with me for a while, cotton candy was the hit of my summer, the scent, everything. So they brought me all that stuff and then they gave me a beautiful box with, um, with just just so many thoughtful things inside of that gift box that they gave me inside of the bag that says your magic it was just wonderful it was so kind of them so sweet i love them we have a connection outside of youtube hours and it just means so much to me that i have become so involved with so many of you that take the time to invest in me as a person as a human being outside of just hauling for you guys so i just value every single one of you so much and today was extra special for me with them my husband had a blast he said the same thing as me when we meet these people it's just like meeting up with people that we've known forever it's easy and it's fun and it's just a loving kind and fulfilling time emotionally to know somebody and see them and hug them after so long of just talking to them through the phone or just connecting over messaging and things like that so I do have other intentions of coming other places throughout maybe the next year or so seeing who else I can meet up with I hope and pray that you know those plans carry out and we can get you know some some moving and grooving and traveling in place and I just love you and I appreciate every single one of you so Margot, Robin, DJ I really really just had a wonderful day so did Richie and I thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the laughs the hugs and the chats that we had throughout the day and just our downtime together it meant everything so please go check out Margot's channel it's Margot's Halls and All her um son actually vlogged us as we were shopping talking we showed a few things at the end and that is what is she's gonna do on her channel i'm not sure of the day that it's definitely gonna be up but if you want to see us meet up in our day together please go over to her channel and wait for it to be posted at some point but enjoy her content throughout her whole channel because she's wonderful so that's it i love you guys so incredibly much i'm gonna go shower and get ready for bed uh oh it's my husband's alarm so i'm gonna let you go this is his cell phone device um i'm gonna let you go and i hope you have a beautiful and wonderful night and i will see you on happy wednesday dollar tree haul so i love you and i will see you in a couple of days bye everyone